we're going to talk about how to simulate a laparoscopic hysterectomy so that when you and I are in the OR, we'll know better how to work with each other. First, we're going to start with how to put the trocars in. Okay. For a laparoscopic hysterectomy, I use four trocars, some use three. We're going to assume we have pneumoperitoneum already mm -hmm. and we have our camera ready. A bipolar is also available to us. So if we start this procedure and have a complication, we're ready to address it. For the purposes of this procedure, we'll have an umbilical trocar, which we can put our camera in. Okay, And then laparoscopically, we're going to watch as we put three other trocars in. I'm going to start demonstrating the anatomy using a blunt instrument just to identify what we have. Now when you do this, remember that your camera, your, your screen is down there. So to physiologically be comfortable while you're operating, you're going to want to switch hands. So use your right hand in the suprapubic port and your left hand laterally. Do you feel more comfortable that way? I do. So Bonnie, this is our simulated uterus. The gray in the middle is the uterus. The sh plastic sheath over it is the, supposed to simulate serosa or peritoneum. The pink ligaments on the side are, the are round ligaments. Down here you can see the bladder. And I've simulated a uterine artery and vein. And importantly, you can see down here, I'll lift up the back, We've also simulated that there's a ureter back there, so we're going to be careful when we come near the uterine artery. To start the hysterectomy, we're going to do the same thing we would do in a regular case. We're going to transect the right round ligament. Grab here. You grab proximal. We, since we don't have bipolar for this simulation, we're going to use clipping and cutting in places we would routinely need hemostasis. Here. I'm going to cut in the middle. Okay. Mm Excellent. We removed our needle, we have complete closure of the cuff, and we're done. For me, the most important thing we do in the simulation center is train our residents. When we train our residents in complex procedures in a simulation environment, we can preemptively discuss complications, discuss routine management, and therefore when we get into the OR, it's not the first time we've practiced these complicated procedures. In the beginning as an intern, you're just getting used to not only the instruments, but um, the cameras, the machines, what, um, you know, what those beeps mean and things like that, and just being able to have everything in the Sim Center essentially simulate what our ORs here look like. I mean, it's just a great advantage, I think.